Uh, first things first, what's your brief from Yannick on uh, you know, what your job is? Well, my brief from Yannick is, uh, like a lot of things in our um, industry, uh, difficult but not complicated. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and my brief is essentially to build a world-class creative network. Uh, you know, the, I think a lot of our competitors, and if I'm really honest, maybe we've been guilty of this in the past, is we've used the word creative to describe the sector we're in yeah. rather than to describe who we really are. <laughs> sure. uh, and so we're going to start to use it to describe who we really are. Mm. Uh, and of course, the, the idea of a, of, a, of a modern global creative network, I mean, we might come on to this. I mean, that isn't just a, about having 100 agencies everywhere in the world and just going and hiring new creative directors for them all. I think it is more than that. Um, but in, in essence, a world-class creative network. Simple yeah. as that. Right. Now, now that's interesting, and I, I think you'll agree with me that, you know, Havas is not, uh, is not newbie. I mean, they've been mm -hmm. around forever. Yeah. Uh, and they are uh, one of the major holding companies, you know, in the space. Yes. Yet, uh, you'll have to agree that, you know, their creative reputation, their aggressiveness, uh, you know, it's just not, has not been at par with, let's say, the WPPs, the IPGs, mm -hmm. and the Omnicom mm -hmm. of the world. Uh, what was your assessment of, the group as uh, as it stands today? I think the group as it stands today is actually very nicely poised. Um, we have, I think, for a long time, I mean, there's, there's no secret, we are, if you just consider us as Havas, we are significantly smaller than those companies you listed. Yeah. I think one of the key challenges that's happened to us within the past 12 months is we've become part of the Vendi group, which actually makes us bigger than a lot of those companies sure. and puts us into a very different kind of business space. Exactly. Um, and um, again, may, we may come on and talk about what that means, but I think the first thing is we have to think of ourselves now as part of a broader entertainment content-based business, exactly. not just an advertising industry business, uh, point, uh, I think, point one. I think, though, your general point is a fair one, which is I don't think that Havas uh, has historically had a reputation in most places of the world, by the way. This isn't true everywhere, but Havas hasn't had a reputation globally for being a real creative powerhouse. I'm a creative animal. Yeah. Um, now, I think we do have strong creative agencies in some places in the world, and certainly within the group, we have businesses like Rosa Park and BTC in Paris, who are uh, amongst the strongest creative agencies in the world. Full stop, no question. Um, but yeah, Havas hasn't been there in the past. Um, I mean, it's not really useful on my job to speculate on why we are where we are. Um, but uh, I think where we are is actually right now really interestingly placed. And I think the size point, just to come back to that, I think it has been uh, certainly a perception, if not a truism, for the past however many years, that bigger is better when it comes to advertising agency holding companies. And I think the world we find ourselves in now, maybe that isn't quite true. And actually, it's a lot harder for those uh, super tankers to change direction. Mm. Um, and our size, we're, you know, I always think of us as being big enough to handle any client problem that comes along, but still a lot smaller and a lot more nimble than our competitors. Yeah, I'm curious to understand, uh, you know, with your whole piece now being part of a larger, you know, mm. entertainment narrative, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. how does that work now? And, and so, you know, and how are you different from, let's say, the traditional holding companies mm. now in mm. today's landscape? I think what's, well, so there's, there's, the, there's two aspects to that. Yeah. There's the, there's, I suppose, the how we're different when you look at as just the advertising component, just as Havas. And I think I've covered that. I mean, we are, we are a smaller, more nimble version of those. Maybe we'll talk about our village model in a little yeah, while as well. Bit, yeah. um, the, the ownership structure as part of Avendi, I think, gives us access to a whole array of different skills, different capabilities uh, that live in the world of culture. I mean, and I think what, we're, what we see is uh, Vivendi isn't just UMG, although UMG is incredibly important. Vivendi has businesses like uh, Gameloft, for example. Absolutely. And I think gaming, I mean, the gaming industry globally is bigger than the film industry. Right. Uh, and you have Universal me, Music. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, well, Universal Music is huge, and then you have, you have ga ga yeah, yeah. the gaming thing. Yeah. Um, I mean, just to look at gaming, I think that marketing and brands have barely scratched the surface in terms of what's possible in the gaming space. Oh, yeah. um, and really, there's a huge amount that we can do down behalf of our clients. So I think it allows us to show up to our clients with a whole different array of uh, offerings. expertise, mm -hmm. offerings, but also contacts into whole and just different perspectives on how to solve familiar problems. 
Chris, now that's, this all sounds very well, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. uh, theoretically. Yeah. Yeah. Now to actually pull those strings mm. and mm. be the, you know, yeah. the superstar bandmaster. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, yeah. I mean, it's no, uh, no mean task. Uh, no, and know. it's not. And, and to be fair, it's not all my job. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> suggesting that. I'm, let's just be super clear. I can scope out the challenge. I'm not suggesting all of this is down to me. Um, I think our business. I mean, my job is I run the. I run the Habas Creative uh, Network. Um, so my job is very much as I described at the start to really build a real strong creative culture in those businesses globally. I work alongside my peers and partners in the other parts of the venue Absolutely. to knit those businesses together. And our business. Like all of, like Game Loft, like, like Universal Music, they are people businesses. Uh, and the way you build, the way you get people businesses to work together is through culture and through people contacts and through people trusting each other and people understanding each other's businesses and how they get mutual benefit from working together. I mean, there's no, there's no, there's no secret to it, but I mean, you're right. I mean, it's, di it's difficult to do well, right? I mean, sure. we, we all know that. Yeah. So what's the plan, Chris? I mean, you've come on board, mm -hmm. you've got this huge task cut out in front of yep, you. Yep. Uh, the brief is clear, yep. yet you've got to get it to be, uh, you know, one of those really talked about yep. creative yep. animals who are actually yep. performing yep. Yep. in this very complicated yep. and confused marketplace. Yes. So, what's the plan? Well, I, I suppose two, two aspects of that. First of all, I think creative is king. I, 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 I'm, I mean, I've worked in creative indus the creative industries my whole career. I fundamentally and truly believe that clients still demand, still want, still need real high class creative solutions. And we're, we want to be one of those people that's delivering that. So creative is key. So that's why, you know, it's not just a trite remark that I want us to be a world class creative business. I genuinely believe that is a route to growth, to security, to allow us to build great careers for our people and, and find better solutions for our clients. I think that's one. I think the second part of it though is, I think that what clients what, what clients uh, want these days from an advertising agency network is different. They want different kinds of capabilities, but also I think the days of needing a agencies capable of doing everything everywhere in the world are gone. So one of the things that, that I want us to do is focus on key geographies. Okay. And you know what, I mean, they're pretty obvious what those key geographies are. Um, and key geographies ensure that we, and if we, can, if we can really make good progress in those geographies, first of all, that's most of the battle won anyway, but second of all, a rising tide lifts all boats, that helps everybody. Which are the geographies that you really need to fix? You know, you need to, you know, well, you know, I, I be an upstart of, of sorts and, you know. I think our challenges, I think our challenges in each of those are different. So I think for, I mean, I, I won't go, uh, let me, let me, let me probably take two, the two extremes is, is probably easier. So I would say the US, we've got a very strong, very developed business in the US, but we believe that's a huge market. We've got a huge amount of potential still there. You know, there's a, there's a ton of stuff. I mean, the, the, the people running this tent today are our US, part of our US business. At the other end of the scale, I think is India. I think we have, we are at the moment still a very underscale business yeah. in India. We see in you as a huge opportunity for us, a huge priority for us. And we've just made an acquisition recently. We hope there'll be, yep. there'll be many more um, to come. Um, and we, we really think that we just don't want to miss the boat. We think that's a huge potential and we need to invest hard in Yeah, in fact, I would say, I mean, uh, in India, you are pretty late. Uh, you know, the, yeah. this should have, not your oh. fault, but uh, just yeah. saying Le that the group should have uh, been slightly more agile. Well, let's not be even later. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I, but yeah. I think, I, and, and that may be true. But yeah. nevertheless, uh, nevertheless, I think there is there there is plenty of scope for us to catch up in India. And we've made some pretty big moves over the past six months with a new CEO, new creative director, with acquisitions, more to come. Well, uh, you know, complicated times. Uh, you have a big task set out for you. I hope you can rejuvenate the uh, the village, the Havas village, and uh, you know its creative machinery and all the very best. Thank, Thank you. Thank so you, much. and so much for your time. Thank you very much.